In Russia, October 30th marks a nationwide Remembrance Day for the victims of political repression. On the eve of the day, a returning the name ceremony to honor the victims of Stalin's regime. This day means a lot to me as I am one of those many millions whose families suffered from communist repressions. However, I think it is even more important for the young generation. Take a look, it is very nice that many young ones are among those who gathered here today. The mourners gathered at the Solovetsky Memorial Stone in front of the headquarters of the Soviet Secret Service, the KGB, at Lubyanka Square in central Moscow. The stone was brought from the Solovki Islands in the north of Russia, where the first forced labor camp, the symbol of Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin's gulag camp system, was situated. In recent years, Russia has been trying to rewrite history, to paint Stalin as a national hero whose crimes against humanity should be overlooked. This is not only a day of remembrance, but also a barrier for any return to human rights violations. This piece of history is a wound on the body of Russia. On the 30th, ceremony participants read the names of the thousands upon thousands of people who are said to have been executed by the Soviet secret police, or NKVD, precursor to the KGB during Stalin's regime. For me personally, this means a lot. My relatives suffered as well. That is why for me, both personally and as a citizen of the country, it is a very serious day. Memorial is the historical society that researches previously classified information on the victims. The group began organizing the return of names ceremony in 2007. Since then, it has read out less than half of the names of the known victims to date. Some estimates of the total number of Stalin's victims run into the tens of millions.